Welcome back, Chelsea fans, to another special episode of the London is Blue podcast. Uh, we're joined again at Cobham by William. So thanks for uh, hanging out. Pleasure, my friend. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, as, as we've talked about American podcast, uh, a big American audience, um, are, do, you, do you visit America? you like going there? Yeah, when we had a preseason. Yeah. We, we went there. We stayed there, I think, two weeks, maybe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. Good uh, experience to be there, to feel the fans, yeah. the blue fans. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea fans from America, so it was good. So, you've been a part of Chelsea since 2013? Yes. Uh, you've been a part of some amazing wins, some great goals, and played with some other fantastic players. When you first signed with Chelsea, who was the player or staff member that helped you acclimate to life the most here at the club? Uh, I think David Luiz <laughs> yeah. was one of these players. Not only him, but uh, I think a few more players like JT mm -hmm. and uh, Amiris, mm -hmm. Oscar, yeah. Eden Hazard. Yeah. Those players that helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. You guys have a bit of a bromance, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you just got done with training here at Cobham. What is, uh, what's one thing that you're working on improving your game at? I just, uh, you know, it's, uh, I just want to improve myself always, mm -hmm. every day. In training, some shooting practice, yeah. uh, do some skills. Yeah. I hate to run. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so fast. Yeah, you're so good at it. <laughs> uh, but uh, physical training is, yeah. know, is boring, but uh, sometimes we have to do. do. Do you and, because Alonso has kind of developed this reputation of being a great free kick taker. You obviously take a lot of great free kicks. Do you guys ever go head to head at training to see who can I do it better? I teach him. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him everything he knows. That's why he's called a ghost. <laughs> so, Chelsea is known for having a lot of youth academy products, a lot of success with the younger kids that come up and play. Is there anyone that's like came into the first team that you've been really surprised with, just kind of how well they've done training with the first team? I think uh, old Kalum Odoi. Yeah. yeah. He's, for me, a great future. Yeah. He's only 17 years old, mm -hmm. but uh, he's a really good player. Mm -hmm. So he can, I think he can, he can be a, he can be a great player in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. Yeah, I mean, obviously, great run of form. Mm -hmm. We're loving, just as Americans watching Brazil play in general. Um, but what would you say is harder, winning the Champions League or a World Cup? I think World Cup. Yeah. I think World Cup is, is more harder than Champions League. Of course, both is difficult to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, for me, World Cup is more harder. Awesome. Is there anyone on the national team that you are always excited to play with that you don't get to play with at Chelsea? I have a lot of players there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of talent. To together. <laughs> uh, Neymar, Marcelo, and Dani Alves, Thiago Silva. Mm -hmm. A lot of players. Everybody. everybody <laughs> yes. It's a big family. Everybody, everybody. So let's go, let's get into your head pre-match. So you're in the locker room. What kind of music are you jamming out to to get yourself either pumped up or, or really, you know, to get yourself more centered and calm? I like to, to listen gospel, gospel mm. music. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, I stay quiet Yeah. with my headphones. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I think five minutes before to go to the pitch, I go I, to the toilet, mm -hmm. I pray a little bit, mm -hmm. yep. and uh, that's what I, I do every yeah. uh, every game. Very cool. So, you know, we've seen this season, maybe there have been some Instagram story wars <laughs> between you and some of the other players. H how do those start? <laughs> Who, who typically starts Who's responsible Because you guys do that thing, well, you'll look, ah, and yeah. then you look over, <laughs> you know, catch him. Nah, I start with Davi. Yeah. Davi likes this, you know, these yeah. jokes, and uh, I start with him. 
one time I start and then he was angry <laughs> <laughs> and then he he start to to do against me as well yeah and we create this competition yeah <laughs> um so you're a very fashionable guy uh, it looks like you have a lot. Do you do you enjoy a lot of shoes? Do you have like a, a strong? We call it, you know, we're sneakerheads. Exactly. Yeah. So you like a, a lot of the Adidas ones, the Nikes, the Jordans, the we, the Yeezys. Anything that you just really love about, you know, sneakers or anything like that? You collect them? Yes, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I like um, I like uh, Jordans. Yeah, Jordans nice. is nice. Yeah, and these ones are nice as well. Yeah. Those look nice and comfortable. Yes. Yeah. I like to to have uh, to be good, you know. Yeah. To to have some sneakers, but I I think I have a lot at home. Yeah. Do Do you have more shoes than your wife, or? <laughs> that was a head nod. Yeah. Awesome. Well, again, William, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, to to our audience and fans, he has been amazing. Uh, so nice. It's been an absolute pleasure. So again, um, subscribe, check out for more information. But again, just thank you and best of luck you, the rest guys. of the season, man. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Really and appreciate support, it. Support Brazil World Cup. Huh? There yeah. you go.